bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. see all of inside there's a cabinet last in with all the china and everything in there oh, replicas. Wow. and when Benjamin, Benjamin Harrison and um, his wife moved into the White House um, electricity was introduced and they were fearful of it actually because it was the unknown nobody really knew about it. let us now join him as we hear some of his own words which still apply to the spirit of America today. I would like to share with you some of my thoughts that might help you fulfill your life's ambitions and dreams. Although I never went to school, it was the most important process that we as a people can pursue. That every man may receive at least a moderate education and thereby be enabled to appreciate the value of our free institutions. As I reflect on the many worldwide events which have changed the direction of the world since my time, I am taken by the number of ideas which were controversial in the 1800s, which are still major topics of the leading rule for the lawyer, as for the man of every other calling, is diligence. Leave nothing for tomorrow which can be done today. Always bear in mind that your own resolution to succeed is more important than any other one thing. My thoughts have not changed since I made those remarks. I love this blessed land whose bounty is brotherhood and liberty. Our peace, prosperity, and progress all stem from brotherhood and cooperation. Brotherhood is the keystone in the arch of American liberty. I do not expect the house to fall, but I do expect it will cease to be divided. I am not ashamed to confess that I was a hired laborer, hauling rails at work on a flatboat, just what might happen to any poor man's son. Freedom means the supremacy of human rights everywhere. I support those who go to struggle 
to bring those rights and keep them. Our strength is our unity of purpose. That high concept that can be no end. Save victory. I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear that you will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of your ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you God. So help me God. Johnson, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chief Justice, President Eisenhower, Vice President Nixon, President Truman, Reverend Clergy, fellow citizens. We observe today not a victory of party, but a celebration of freedom, symbolizing an end as well as a beginning signifying renewal as well as change. For I have sworn before you and Almighty God the same solemn oath our forebears prescribed nearly a century and three quarters ago. The world is very different now, for man holds in his mortal hands the power to abolish all forms of human poverty and all forms of human life. And yet the same revolutionary belief for which our forebears fought are still at issue around the globe. The belief that the rights of man come not from the generosity of the state, but from the hand of God. We dare not forget today that we are the heirs of that first revolution. Let the word go forth.